Welcome to this I got an offer BCG potential test video where I will discuss the different types of questions that are being asked in the BCG potential test. At I got an offer we've helped hundreds of candidates prepare for the BCG potential test and more than 85% of them have been successful so far. This BCG potential test guide summarizes a lot of what we have learned in the process of doing this so let's get started. BCG uses three types of questions in its potential test which you should be aware of. Understanding these different question types is key to succeeding at the test, so let's step through each of them one by one. The first type of question is maths word problems. They are the most frequent type of question in the test and account for 40% and 45% of questions in the online and paper tests respectively. Here's an example of a maths word problem. Given the information provided in the documents, how many tickets would you expect the company to sell next year? A. 8 million, B. 10 million, C. 15 million, or D. 17 million. The purpose of this type of question is to give you a lot of information in graphs, tables, and texts, and to see if you can find the maths formula needed to solve them. Here, for instance, you'll need to find the equation to calculate the number of tickets and then look for the right data to do so. In most cases, the calculations required are not very complicated. It's just basic additions, multiplications, subtractions, divisions, and some percentage growth rates. The main challenge is really the time pressure to do these questions quickly and accurately. In the preparation plan section of this guide, I will discuss how you can prepare to work around these challenges. The second type of questions in the BCG potential test are logic and data interpretation questions, where you'll be asked to assess different statements and determine which is true or false based on data in graphs and tables. They account for about 35% of questions in both the online and paper tests. Here's an example of a data interpretation question. Based on the information available in document 1's graph, which of the following statements is true? A. Company A's revenues are 10% higher than company B's. B. Company A's revenues are 20% higher than company C's. C. Company B's revenues are 30% lower than company C's. Or D. Company C's revenues are 40% lower than company A's. This type of question is less maths intensive than the maths word problems I just discussed. They do involve some maths, but they don't really test your raw computational skills. They're more focused on testing your logic and critical reasoning skills. This is why we call them logic questions. And you will have to use data from graphs and tables to answer them, which is why we call them data interpretation questions. Amongst the statements provided, some will be fairly obviously wrong, but you will usually be left with two or three statements where the data suggests that they could be right. The challenge will be to quickly make a difference between the statements that are definitely right according to the data and those that could be right, but it's not 100% proven by the data. The last type of question in the BCG potential test is reading comprehension questions. For these questions, you will be provided with a passage containing 400 to 600 words about a business topic. You'll then be asked to answer a series of questions about the information contained in the passage. Here's an example of this type of question. Passage number one provides information to support which of the following statements. A. U.S. steel manufacturing is profitable only if done on a large scale. B. U.S. consumption of steel has been unusually high for three years. C. U.S. production of steel will return to normal once Chinese imports return to historical levels or D, surplus stocks of steel have been reduced in the past three years. This type of question does not involve any numbers. It tests your ability to quickly read and understand complex and lengthy business texts similar to those you will encounter as a consultant. To pick the right answer, you'll often need to distinguish main ideas from supporting ideas and opinions from facts in the passage. Again, some statements in these questions will look like they're true, but they won't be supported by the passage and it will therefore be incorrect to select them. This could be, for instance, the case for statement A here. One very important tip is to therefore select your answers only based on the information available in the passage and nothing else. Okay, that's it for this BCG Potential Test Questions Types video. If you have any questions about the BCG Potential Test, don't hesitate to ask them below and our team will answer them. The next thing you should do is watch our video on the top tips for answering BCG Potential Test Questions. These tips have helped hundreds of candidates succeed, so go ahead and watch that video right now. Right, that's it for this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.